see any way across this. Oh, it's wet here even. It's too wet there to walk. I'm trying to find somewhere that's not too wide that I can hop it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I've got to get across to that side. There's orange markers. See the orange thing? That orange up there. That's the trail, so I have to cross this little river, but there's no way to hop it. It's too wide, and it's too deep for my shoes. Yeah, there's no way. So, shoes off, we're going for a paddle. <laughs> and while I'm paddling, I'll collect some of that water, I'll drink it. We have come from there. You can kind of see the lighthouse. My zoom isn't that good, but way, way, way on the very, very edge of that little lumpy mountainy bit is the lighthouse. Shouldn't be salty because it's come down from rivers. It's salty there, in the ocean, the sea, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from, whatever you call it, the salty one. It might be sandy though, but the filter should take care of that. Yummy! It's alright. You should be a monster. Because everyone says, well, you should be harmless. You don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat. No. 
You should be a monster. And then you should learn how to control it. The definition of being aggressive is forceful and sometimes overly assertive pursuit of one's aims. In combat, almost nothing will happen the way you want it to if you don't force it that way. The enemy, nature, time, there's all kinds of things that, that are going against you. It's a losing battle. And if you don't use force of will, then, then you're not gonna get it done. What it means is, is you need to make things happen. This is the good thing about being aggressive. Sure, there's, there's certain parts of your nature that are aggressive, but it can also be trained. You can start to think with an aggressive mindset, which is I am going to take action. I'm gonna overcome obstacles. I'm gonna push through roadblocks. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. And th those are things that you can train. There's so often times where people, they get told no or they hit an obstacle and it's game over for them. They're just done, they're done training, they're over it. And your attitude, you have to go, okay. Little, little roadblock, cool. How am I gonna get through it? How am I gonna get around it? <sighs> Hi ho campers. <laughs> What's up there ladies and gentlemen, Keith my name's Seb, this is the camp, boom. This is Seb Cam. We're back in the hammock. I am at Twilight Camp site. Yeah. It's way up on the hill above the beach. So I'm in under this shelter here. And there's some trees. And way down there is the beach. You can kind of see it. There's some oceany waves. It was pretty windy. I just wanted to take a break from the midday sun and rest my body. I've just done half a day I'm running along and I'm pretty sore, I'm pretty tired. Well, not sore, but I'm like tired. I'm just like tired, but I didn't sleep. I'm just physically tired. I'm not used to all this. So I'm um, taking it easy, chillaxing, maxing. Enjoying the uh, pretty New Zealand countryside. It's a bit like a crossbreed of England, like grassy fields and sheep and stuff and hills, but a bit tropical. There's palm trees and bananas. So it looks kind of British, but it feels kind of tropical. Pretty tropical. I dodged the rain last night. It was a crazy rainstorm. I slept in the toilets. And it was a great start. <laughs> Morning all. I slept well in here. This was my little hideout. I hung the hammock from these poles over to the stalls and it worked very well. I was very comfortable. There's no rain, no wind. A luxurious start. <laughs> I'm actually really happy about it. I'm actually really happy that it was such a comfortable sleep and uh, I was out of the storm. It would have been worse if I started and then got rained on and had to try to put the hammock in the trees that don't exist. I think I have to run a good 20 miles to get to some trees. So people are starting to arrive now, 6 a.m. I'm waking up, sorting out my hair. I think we'll just keep going. We're gonna try and get to Tipaki Stream, which is the next kind of obvious stopping point, junction, whatever you wanna call it. The next point of civilization. There's not really much civilization out here, but there's like spots that have water. There's a few spots where you can camp. There's things like this, you know. I've only got limited food. I've got a limited amount of days of oats and raisins and sugar. So I can't go too slowly and hang out too much or I'll just run out of nutrition and be hungry. And there's no way of, there's no shops. <laughs> there's nothing out here. I haven't seen anyone. I love it. I haven't seen a single person. No one has crossed me on the trail 
coming up from behind me. I haven't crossed anyone going the other way. Yeah, I've been looking back, there's nobody there. I haven't seen anyone coming towards me. There's no one coming, there's no one going. It's just me here. I like it a lot. The sky's the limit, but it all starts from the day. It's all up to you. You should be a monster. You have to be hungry for greatness. You got to go through it to get to it. You got to understand that there are going to be many circumstances that will require your full undivided attention. That is 90 Mile Beach. This is really what this beginning of this run is going to be. One long, long beach. The longest beach in the world. The longest continuous beach. They call it 90 Mile Beach. It's about 55 miles, plus however many miles I did to get here. It literally goes out of view. I can't see the end of it. It just kind of fades out. It's going to be very repetitive and difficult for my mind because it's all just going to look the same. Got the sea on the right, sand under my feet. Some of these manuka tree things, bushes, shrubs. Some of them are big enough to hang a hammock in, I hope. where it really begins. Save the world. Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Save the world. Kill the dragon. Save the world. Kill the dragon. Save the world. Kill the dragon. Save the world. How do I slay that dragon in me? What's the journey I have to make? You have to make. Each of us has to make. You talk about something called a soul's high adventure. My general formula for the right student is follow your bliss. Don't you find where it is and don't be afraid to follow it. Follow your bliss. Don't you find where it is and don't be afraid. If the work that you're doing is the work that you chose to do because you were enjoying it, that's it. But if you think, oh gee, I couldn't do that, you know, that's your dragon blocking you in. Oh no, I couldn't be a writer. Oh no, I couldn't do what so-and-so is doing. Unlike the classical heroes, we're not going on our journey to save the world, but to save ourselves. And in doing that, you save the world. I mean, you do. The influence of a vital person vitalizes. There's no doubt about it. The world is a wasteland. People have the notion of saving the world by shifting it around and changing the rules and so forth. No, any world is a living world if it's alive. And the thing is to bring it to life. And the way to bring it to life is to find in your own case where your life is and be alive yourself, it seems to me. If you have someone who can help you, that's fine too. Ultimately, the, the last trick has to be done by you. This is killing the dragon. And in doing that, you save the world. Kill the dragon, 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 save the world. Save the world. Save the world. Kill the dragon, save the world. Kill the dragon, save the world. water I might have to cross the little river thing again get wet feet but this will be the last time I take my shoes off these sand dunes are quite trippy they're like white everything's kind of weird color that was a good day I enjoyed that yeah so here's the river I'll collect some water
Cha-ching! This little spot in here will do nicely. Very quiet, sheltered away from the wind. Branches are tough enough here. I can hang to there. And I've got all this kind of enclosed little space. Away from the wind. Happy days.